Hello guys, welcome back to our session. So in this session, we'll be doing para summary three of slot two asked in CAT 2020, right? So before I start this session, a small piece of information for you all. From tomorrow, we are starting live sessions for VA and RC on YouTube. Okay, so tomorrow I'll be taking a session on reading comprehension. So please make sure that you join that session. So let's get started with this session. Now, the let me read the instruction. Let me read the instruction. The instruction is the passage given below is followed by four alternate summaries. Choose the option that best captures the essence of the passage. Again, you have to find the summary. You have to summarize. It is basically the summary question. Okay. So last year we, we have seen that CAT has in critical reasoning part, CAT has only asked the summary questions. Okay. It has not asked any questions related to conclusion or argument. Okay. So now let me read this paragraph. The rural urban continuum and the heterogeneity of urban setting pose an obvious challenge to identifying urban areas and measuring urbanization rate in a consistent way within and across countries. So now this word continuum, okay, continuum means a slight difference, okay. For example, the author is saying that the difference between a rural and area, urban area and like continuum means if two areas are looking similar, but in features, they are very far apart from each other. So that is continuum, right? So the first two, three lines are telling us that the author is telling that sometimes it is difficult to identify an urban areas, right? And the challenges. Now, an objective methodology for distinguishing between urban and rural areas that is based on one or two metrics with, with fixed thresholds may not adequately capture the wide diversity of the places. Now, let me read this part again. An objective methodolo methodology for distinguishing between urban and rural areas that is based on one or two matrices, matrices with fixed thresholds may not adequately capture the wide diversity of place. Okay, now from here. A richer combination of criteria would better describe a richer combination of criteria would better describe the multifaceted nature. Multifaceted means something of very, something ha uh, that has uh, too much feature, too many features, you can say. Okay, something with too many features. So let me read from here. A richer, a richer combination of criteria would better describe the multifaceted nature of a city's function and its environment. But the joint interpretation of these criteria may require an element of human judgment. Now, the last line, that is, it is very important. But the joint interpretation of these criteria may require an element of human judgment. Okay, so with, with the help of some criteria, you may be able to identify an urban area compared to the rural areas. But, but the author is suggesting that but the joint interpretation of these criteria may require an element of human judgment. An element of human judgment. That is a key word. Now, option number one. Distinguishing between urban and rural areas might call for some judgment. Might call for some judgment on the objective methodology being used to define a city's function. Okay. Distinguishing between urban and, urban and rural areas might call for for some judgment on the objective methodology being used to define a city's function. Now, the problem with this option is that some judgment by whom? Some judgment by whom? The keyword is missing. The keyword is an element of human judgment. Okay, but still I'm not eliminating this part. I'm not ruling this out. Let us keep it as it is. Okay, let us look at the other options as well. So, option number two. The difficulty of accurately identifying urban areas means that we need to create a rich combination of criteria, a rich combination of criteria that can be applied to all urban areas. No, totally wrong. It is going out of the context. It is not the, an essence of the, uh, you can say the paragraph because it is saying the difficulty of accurately identifying urban areas means that Okay, from here till here, areas it is fine. Means that we need to create a rich combination of criteria. Rich combination of criteria 
दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड टू ऑल अर्बन एरियाज ऑल अर्बन एरियाज ओके इट इज नॉट गेटिंग टू द पॉइंट एंड वन मोर थिंग इट इज ऑल्सो लिविंग आउट द की पॉइंट दैट इज एन एलिमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन जजमेंट बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट द ऑर्थर इज सजेस्टिंग एट द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द पैराग्राफ ओके सो आई कैन रूल दिस आउट ऑप्शन नंबर वन आई एम जस्ट कीपिंग एज इट इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री करेंट मैथडोलॉजिकल मैथडोलॉजीज करेंट मैथडोलॉजीज यूज टू डिफाइन अर्बन एंड रूरल एरियाज आर नो लॉन्गर रेलिवेंट ओके नो लॉन्गर रेलिवेंट टू आवर बींग एबल टू स्टडी ट्रेंड्स इन अर्बनाइजेशन ओके अकेन इट इज ओके इट इज ओके इट इज फाइन लुक्स फाइन बट अगेन इट इज लिविंग ऑफ दिस पार्ट एंड एलिमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन जजमेंट इट इज द की वर्ड एज आई सेड इट इज द की वर्ड सो अगेन आई एम रूलिंग दिस आउट लास्ट पार्ट If last part does not look looks well, okay, we'll be going with option number one. Okay, last option with the diversity of urban landscapes. Okay, measurable criteria for defining urban areas may need to supplement may need to be supplemented with human judgment. Again, it is just uh, this option has all the elements. Okay. Now option number one and four. Let me read option number one once more. Okay. Option number one says, distinguishing between urban and rural areas might call for some judgment on the objective methodology being used to define a city's function. Okay. It is close. It is close. But leaving out some keyword. The keyword is human. The keyword is human. Human judgment. Had it be, had this word been used in option number one, it would have been fine, right? But again, this is close, but not the answer. Option number four should be the answer. With the diversity of urban landscapes, measurable criteria for defining urban areas may need to be supplemented, okay, with human judgment, right? So this can be the essence of the paragraph, right? Again, if you have any doubt or if you think something is not clear, please do comment down below. Okay, I'll be more than happy to address your problem. And from tomorrow, we are having live sessions on ASI. We'll be discussing some PYQs. Okay, uh, live. Okay, so make sure you join it. Okay, timing. I'll be posting the time. Uh, you'll be getting all the details, all the about the schedule on our. uh youtube community tab right so meet you in another session till then happy learning and bye for now